<clears throat> All right, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. Just want to spend a little bit of time with this here Kennedy Vindicator right here. This is the Kennedy Vindicator mech mod. This is the Kennedy RDA, the newest version of the Kennedy RDA. There's honestly not a whole lot to this mech mod, but we're going to look at it real quick from top to bottom. And we're going to take apart the switch because honestly, the switch is my favorite part of this mech mod. It just fits together and works so well. As you can see right there, Hybrid 510, it says Vindicator, I got number 63. It's machined out of stainless steel, but they also do full copper and brass versions. It's hard to appreciate on camera, but Steve the Machinist, the guy that makes these, he is a machinist by trade. He was a machinist long before vaping ever existed, and his quality is I mean, unmatched. It's his job. It's what he does. So, of course, his mechs are going to be insanely high quality. Got all of those vent holes along the top where they should be, so you can put your battery's positive side in. There's kind of this little nubbin contoured area down here that's really meant for how you hold it. For me and my hands, it's, it's perfect right there, and I can swing my finger around and hit the button with my finger. It just overall, wow, it makes it a, a real comfy mech mod to hold and use. Like I said, there's not going to be a whole lot to see up here, but I do want to show you this switch. It is a 21700 battery compatible mech mod, which if you've never run a good 21700 in a mech mod, oh baby, you are missing out. So let's take a look at this switch real quick. You have this yellow Ultem ring across the top that is spring loaded all the way around. This is what's going to be taking up for your battery rattle. So there's no pins to adjust, no screws to adjust, no magnets to adjust. It's all a fully self adjusting mechanical mod, which is, I mean, it's just fantastic. The button right here is all one piece to your contact. So when you press the button, the contact's going to come up and hit the battery. And then you can kind of see these other marks in here as well. So if you push the contact up and grab the whole thing and then twist it, you can kind of set it in that other set of notches, which is just going to give your button a longer travel. There's two notches and then one release notch. So you have these two notches right here to adjust the travel of your switch. One's obviously shorter than the other, but if you push this up and twist it and keep going and set it in the other notches, you let that slide down and then you release the switch completely. And that's all that's in this switch. There's your button again, there's your contact, there's your big heavy duty spring right here. When I say big heavy duty, don't be scared that it's gonna be really hard to press because it is a big heavy duty spring, but it has a fairly soft sort of a springy feel to it. Honestly, the Kennedy Vindicator switch is the perfect, perfect amount of resistance in a switch IMO. But you can see there's your little two little tabs right there and those line up with all of these notches along the top. And you just put it back together the same exact way. You go through those notches, give it a little twist, let it sit in the other notches, and then you're good to go. Your button is back together and it'll function perfectly. I personally like using the notches that are the little bit shorter of a throw, but you can easily swap this back and forth and see which one you like more. It's legitimately just personal preference. So we're gonna put the battery back in here. We're gonna screw this switch housing back on, which by the way, all of the threads on the Kennedy Vindicator are, are just beautifully smooth and fantastic. And as you can see, this once used to be like a, a, sh a much shinier, shinier copper button and switch housing, but over time, just using it and, and letting it get that like uh, brownish patina on there, I'll probably polish this up eventually at some point, but honestly, I don't mind that. That doesn't bother me. And then you got your 25 millimeter hybrid 510 that the Kennedy's just gonna screw back down onto. And I mean, obviously you, you don't have to use a Kennedy. I'm just using a Kennedy, but obviously since this is 25 millimeters, any 25 millimeter atomizer is going to fit on here amazing. This is the Goon, the new Goon 25. Boom, and that fits on there, and that looks awesome too. But because I love the Kennedy RDA so much, we're going to put the Kennedy RDA on here. And I know this isn't about the Kennedy RDA, but it has that Kennedy style airflow. It's something that a lot of people have copied in from the bottom up through the top. There's two little tubes in there that you uh, maybe can see. They kind of go right up at your coils. It's a two post deck. My build might be in a, a little bit of need of re-wicking, but that's honestly not so bad. That's a few weeks worth of vaping on that Turkish Harvester juice. With the Kennedy RDA, you do kind of have to pop and paint your coils. This RDA isn't really conducive to blowing your juice through the middle. It's honestly something that doesn't really bother me just because the fit and finish of the top cap 
of the Kennedy RDA is so precise. So you can pop your top, you can paint your coils, and when you go to put this back on, you don't have to aim it anywhere. You don't have to reline up any airflow or anything. And when you set this back down on here, it gives you, oh, just like the most insanely satisfying click. I wanna do that again next to the microphone, but we'll do that when we get back up top. So yeah, there you go. Kennedy, Vindicator, up close and personal. Let's get back out to normal view. Let's vape this Vindicator. Unbelievable. I've honestly just been having kind of an unbelievable time with this Kennedy Vindicator. I don't even mind on the Kennedy RDA that you have to pop and paint. And look, you don't have to pop and paint. I'm a big proponent of just bleh, just squeezing your juice right through the middle of your drip tip. Like those are the RDAs that are, are my favorite RDAs. I love to be able to bleh my juice, but the Kennedy RDA gives me such a good vape. It, it's unbelievable how much I enjoy the Kennedy Atomizer. And if any vapors out there, you've never even tried the Kennedy Atomizer, do yourself a favor and at least try one someday because it's gonna be amazing. I mean, it's gonna give you a good vape. And like I said, I don't mind popping and painting my coils because you never have to reline up your airflow. You know what I mean? You don't have to take this and go, okay, uh, let's put it on this way and then reline up my airflow. You don't have to do that with the Kennedy and that's why popping and painting doesn't bother me. And that satisfying snap that we were talking about in the uppy closey portion, just, just listen to it. And it feels even better than it sounds. Ah, oh, oh my, it's perfect. The tolerances, the machining, the O-rings are perfect on this atomizer, but it's not actually about this atomizer. What I wanted to talk about was this Vindicator Mech Mod. Steve the Machinist over there at Kennedy Vapor, he's been releasing products for years and years and years now. I think I got my first Kennedy RDA in 2014. So four years ago and it has truly and honestly just remained one of my favorite atomizers I love the vape I get from it Steve the machinist at Kennedy vapor. They've also released, you know uh, Mech mods they released the roundhouse mech mods. They released the Ruby mods which were basically mech mods with atomizers uh, hybridized to them so not hybrid in the sense that a 510 is hybrid but hybrid in the sense that the deck was machined actually to the physical tube. I really loved those Ruby mech mods. There's plenty of reviews for those on YouTube if you wanna go check them out. But this Vindicator, I think, is the best thing that Kennedy Vapor has ever released. From top to bottom, the quality of this mech mod is unbelievable, unbelievable. It just feels so nice in the hand. It's got that little nubbiny thing, like I said, and that's how I hold it, just right there. I just put my thumb right there, swing my finger around, boom, hit it. And it just hits unbelievably. Like I said, if you've never used a mech mod with like a good 21700 battery in it, oh, you're missing out. You're really missing out on a, on a spectacular vape experience. So, I, I mean, I basically like everything about this mech mod. I find zero faults in this mech mod at all. I, I don't have one single gripe. I don't have one single bummer. I don't have one single complaint. It's just all around a banging mech mod. I, I would nominate this for be best mech mod of the year. So this is the Vindicator 21700 version, and this is how the 21700 version looks. You know what I mean? It's a little bit wider at the top, narrow in the middle, and you got the little bulbousy parts down at the bottom. He also does a 2700 version of the Vindicator that is styled slightly differently. They have different, different peaks and valleys and different ridges and things like that. I haven't used the Kennedy 2700 version of the Vindicator, so I can't speak to how comfortable it is. I mean, they look nice and comfortable. There's one with like the ridges, and then there's one with ridges at the top, and there's also like a straight tube version of it as well. And best of all, if we're gonna get down to brass tacks, which Come on, we always get down to brass tacks. Are you gonna need your vape budget hands for the Kennedy Vindicator? Here's the thing, yes, you definitely will, but not as much as you think you would. Kennedy products in the past have been quite pricey, like quite expensive, like firmly in vape budget hands territory. The 21700 version of the Kennedy Vindicator is 
$130, which, dude, that's not bad for a 100% made in the United States by Steve the Machinist. I mean, beautiful, beautiful mech mod, $130. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of reasonable in my opinion. That's the lowest price that the Kennedy products have ever been. And even more interesting is the 2700 version of the Kennedy Vindicator is only $120. So yeah, I mean, vape budget hands for sure, but it's not as expensive as they used to be. It's a lot more reasonable now. I mean, $130 puts the Kennedy Vindicator in the grasp of, a, you know, a lot more vapors. And the thing, it just, and it just hits so damn hard. Now, where things start getting a little bit expensive with Kennedy is if you want to throw the Kennedy Atomizer on here as well. The two-post 25-millimeter Kennedy Atomizer is $90, which, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's that's pricey. That's a that's a pricey pricey atomizer. So if you want both, you're going to be getting into like the two hundred dollar plus range. So again, vape budget hands, just something to be aware of. Now, if we're going to play the aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have and I have nothing left to vape, is the Kennedy Vindicator? Is the Kennedy Vindicator uh, Kennedy RDA combo something I would seek out and buy? I mean, yeah. Uh, uh, unflinchingly, yes. Obviously, it's vape budget hands. You would need to save your money and get this, but this is a setup that I'm thankful that I own and that if I didn't own after having used it for so long, I would definitely purchase. I, I would absolutely. A Kennedy RDA has to be it has to be in my vape arsenal. It just does. I need that Kennedy vape. And this Vindicator has easily become one of my favorite mech mods. Like I said, I would nominate this for mech mod of the year. It's something that I don't think will ever get retired. I just love using it too much. And I bought a whole bunch of brand new 21700 batteries that I am planning on using almost exclusively in this Kennedy Vindicator. So yeah, it is what it is. It's the Kennedy Vindicator. And and it's, it's fucking awesome. Obviously it is a little bit expensive, so the decision is going to have to be yours to make, but if you're looking for a nice, solid, high-end-ish mech mod, dude, Kennedy Vindicator, I feel like you just, uh, you just can't go wrong with it. So anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Kennedy Vindicator, I can't put links in the description, so you're gonna have to use your Google Foo, but thank you so much for watching, and as always, pow, right there. Let's keep on vaping.